Oh, gotta go fast. Hey guys, Anika, welcome to my Chanika. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I've been going non-stop since like six in the fucking morning. I got my boxy charm today and I need to have a video for tomorrow and I haven't filmed one and I'm just fucking ugh. Speaking of my nut button, by the way, I just reached out to the nut button people. Go to the nutbutton.com and if you want to buy a nut button, your very own nut button, use the code Annika's nut for 10% off. Oh, yeah. So now I'm going to be doing my boxy charm. I need to go grab it. Also, in this video, my mom forgot to cancel the Ipsy subscription, so I got my January Ipsy bag. It's really ugly and everything in it I already had or I didn't want you know so I'm just gonna be doing a giveaway if you want to win this comment down below your Instagram username and you'll be entered I'll pick the winner on the 20th of January okay so this is the box of charm this month I've already seen Kath I saw Kathleen lights unboxing because I just really wanted to know what was in it I'm also wearing a full face so let me take this off I'll be right back I'm back. All the products in this month's box really intrigued me, except for the palette since it's all shimmers. The first thing that we got is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I'm so excited about this because one of the main reasons why I wanted BoxyCharm is because they do Dr. Brandt products and I love like, I love Dr. Brandt products and I would love to get the opportunity to try it more. Kathleen Light said that she really liked this primer. She said it was a little bit silicone-y, so I'm gonna put it in the places that I need filling. That is a giant ass pimple. Popped, bitch. Dr. Pimple Popper who? But like, when I pop pimples with my acrylics and I have like two indents right there it's really annoying anyway so it's like a tan color it smells like um lotion Ooh, ooh, okay that's really smoothing that's actually really nice also this retails where's the fucking card oh. this retails for 40 bucks so 38 bucks so that's really expensive I think I like it it's supposed to be a luminizing primer and tbh I'm not the biggest fan of luminizing primers but if it smooths out my skin which I feel like it does I'm down like I'm here for it so as long as it does something else along with luminizing I'm fine I need to see how this goes over foundation but yeah so I'm gonna do my foundation my concealer all that jazz and then we'll come back and we'll do my brows guys do you see what that is do you fucking see what that is that is pan I just hit fucking pan on my butter bronzer yes I've been working on her for a fucking like year and a half all right I was baking and there's still bake underneath my eyes. next in the box they include the it cosmetics brow power universal brow pencil this I swatched it and the shade looks like it'll be perfect for me but this is apparently just like a brow pencil that everybody can use if you have blonder hair you just push lighter if you have darker hair you push harder but if you have black hair black eyebrow hairs I don't feel like it's gonna work right that doesn't make sense right Oh, it's in the shade Universal Taupe. Okay, okay. The first thing that I have to comment on is just how big it is. I just feel like it's a little bit hard to get nice and precise up in there, but the color is really nice. Like, the color is, like, my perfect color, which I'm kind of shook about. What are the odds that something, like, finally fits you? Yeah. Do you want me in your video? Sure. What do you want me to say? Come in. Well, I'm not shaved or anything. It's my hair's fine. Never stop believing in memes. Never. And don't forget, swearing is for YouTube. And just for YouTube. Do you know what the nut button is? Nut. Nut. What kind of nut? Like an almond? Cashew nut? Okay, yeah, but since the pencil is so, like, large, it's just hard for me to, uh, get nice and fine like I would be able to with my NYX micro brow or my ABH brow is. My brows are not having a good day today. They're not gonna be twins. They're not even gonna be fucking friends. They're gonna be, like, strangers. They just met on a blind date at McDonald's and, like, update on the primer, though. I noticed that before I set my face, my face was really luminous, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm more of a fan of, like, a matte face, but I, for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna use it. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it in the summer especially because like in the summer you want glowy skin but you also want like flawless skin I don't know so I feel like that's perfect what was I talking about oh yeah it's just perfect if you want to be a flawless fucking queen iconic I'm the hottest in the streets no you probably heard me got a bag and fix my teeth hope you hoes no it ain't she trying to memorize all the words to bodak yellow by cardi b and i know that that's such an old song but it's been stuck in my head recently okay next we got this pure cosmetics bronze and brighten palette in the shade dreamer i think it's in the shade dreamer um i swatched the blush and highlight the highlighter is gorgeous the blush is really intense i feel like it would be a really pretty eyeshadow or even a highlighter if you have darker skin so i'm really nervous um it's really glowy I'm not even gonna bother with this bronzer, y'all, because that is just like. So oh, I just used my other bronzer, as you saw, and I hit pan on it. So excited. Oh, I look like a fucking clown. This is why I don't fuck with blush. Oh my god. Fuck me in the ass and call me Sally. Oh my fucking god. Okay. And then for highlighter, I guess we're gonna use this highlighting shade, which is absolutely gorgeous. These are very powdery, um, and I feel like I've already started to hit hard pan. Do you see that? 
That's definitely hard pan, which is kind of annoying. Maybe it'll still work, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That is a fucking nut. This is the perfect amount. This is, like, the perfect highlighter for me because it isn't super popping, but at the same time, it is super popping. So people are still gonna be like, ooh, girl, your highlight. But it just kind of, like, it's not too much and it's not too little. I just feel like it's the perfect amount. I appreciate it. Ooh, it's good for nose glow, though. And I'll highlight my inner corners with that once we're done. Okay, oh my god, there's so much stuff. I love BoxyCharm. I've only had two boxes so far, but I really feel like if I started off with no makeup and I got a year of BoxyCharm subscriptions, I feel like my makeup collection by the end of the year would be like really nice, really tight, really poppin'. Next we got this Glam Metals palette by Crown Brushes. I'm not a huge fan of this just because it's all shimmers. You get one matte black, which I do think is nice, so I think I'm just gonna be using one of these shades. I don't know which one I wanna use. Initially, I was gonna go for the shade Rock On, which is this like, olive green shade but it doesn't look super olive green in real life actually or should i do rebel i actually don't know or should i do the wicked and do like a smoky look i think i'll do wicked the wicked and i'll do like a smokier look i have a palette that i haven't used yet and i want to use it the Too faced just peachy mattes palette i haven't used it and i want to use it so bad so i think i'm just gonna dive in i think i'm gonna do a gradient so it's darker in the center and then it blends up to lighter i don't know i'm gonna take the shade peach tea and i also already primed my eyelids with concealer that's pigmented okay Shit, this blends so beautifully. Did you just see how effortlessly that blended out? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that blended out so fast. I had really high expectations for this palette, and this, like, already exceeded my expectations. Okay. I'm gonna take the shade just right, dab that in the outer corners, and kind of blend it into the crease just a little bit. Also on the inner corners as well. And I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna take a smaller brush, go back in with just right, and then get that on my inner corners so it can be like a halo. What a fucking baddie. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade The Wicked, which almost doesn't even look shimmery. Ew, I should have swatch that look at that that's like no pigment at all whatsoever damn i'm triggered what the hell okay i think i'll take the shade wild thing i know that kathleen lights did like the same exact thing uh too fucking bad but yeah i should probably also tell you what's in that ipsy bag that i'm giving away i will i will do that taking the shade wild thing i'm gonna spray it just because i don't fuck with that dry shit Okay, okay. That's cute, that's cute. I like that. It has a nice level of pigment when you spray it. I feel like it could be a little bit more metallic, especially since, like, you're doing an all-metallic shadow palette. The metallics better be fucking amazing. Like, the chocolate gold bar palette, I really don't like the palette. I have it. I don't like it because it's all shimmers, but the shimmers are fucking amazing. So, that's why, like, that's your selling point there. And then I'm just gonna go back into the Just Peachy Mattes palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Peach Tea, the first shade that we took, and just blend out. I actually really like the way that looks. I literally did the exact same thing that Kathleen Lights did. I feel like I actually don't remember which one, but oh well. I'm going to take the highlighter from the pure palette, which I already fucking messed up. Put that on my inner corner. I also need to do my lower lash line. I'm gonna do my lash line, apply mascara, and then I'll be back and I'm gonna show you guys the last thing and show you what's in the ipsy bag. So much better. Everybody has that one thing that they need. For some people, it's brows. For some people, it's concealer. For me, it's mascara. I feel like I can't leave the house without mascara. And when I put on mascara, it just transforms the fucking look. So basically, I'm just busting a fat fucking. Now I'm gonna take the. Girl Lactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Posh. I heard Kathleen Lay saying amazing things about this as well. I really like the color. I haven't heard about Girl Lactic in a really long time. I remember back in the day, like the OG YouTuber days, where like the Girl Lactic highlighter was all the rage and shit, and the bronzer. It smells like cupcakes. I really like it. And I also adore this color. I feel like that was a really good color to put in. Almost like a Your Lips But Better. It's a little bit browner though. It's really liquidy. It's definitely not like a moussey texture, but it's really easy to apply. Because I feel like I could actually really like this lipstick i love the color it's just a very simple application it's not like really liquidy really pigmented i don't know also update this liquid lipstick is the most comfortable liquid lipstick i've ever worn it, i didn't even notice that it dried it feels like i'm actually wearing nothing on my lips it's so thin i can't feel anything and it's completely transfer proof so but yeah this is the final look i'm really happy with my boxy charm this month i'm going to add up everything i'm gonna have it in the description but now let me show you what is in the ipsy bag um this is a january ipsy bag you're getting a nyx lip lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade satin ribbon you're getting a little luna eyeshadow i think it's like a pink color a mini size of the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I have this and I love it. And it's actually like a decent size pan. And you are getting this Real Chemistry Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. It's like a mini size. And then last but not least, you're getting by Bella Pierre the Stay Put Brow Gel. It's a brown color, so if your eyebrows are lighter or darker than this, just give it to a friend or donate it. I didn't open any of these. I just like saw this and I was like, you know what? I got my box charm this month. I want to give it away to one of you guys. So that's what's in this bag. Again, just comment your Instagram username and I will pick the winner on January 20th. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, re subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on boxing charming. I will
wish you the best, but you already have.